Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our Independence Bowl game preview between the Ohio Bobcats and the UL Monroe Warhawks. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Bobcats. Now let's look at the Bobcats in this matchup, and this is an amazing offense, but they've struggled the last three games, all of which were losses. And that offensive line has to get back to playing better football because when they bring their A game, we know quarterback Tyler Tettleton and running back Bo Blankenship over 1,500 yards, they'll definitely bring their A-plus game. And as well as they can run the football, ULM's run defense is very good. So look for wide receiver Dante Foster and company. They're going to have to step up and make more plays than usual in the passing game. Now, defensively, they can't let Colton Browning extend plays with his legs, so they can't be afraid to send extra. You want to dictate the pace of the game by forcing him to get rid of that football quickly. Reactionary defense will get you beat, so you have to force the issue versus ULM. And the big matchup I'm looking forward to watch is between strong safety Josh Kristoff, outstanding player, and tight end Kevon Milton. That's going to be the matchup that the Bobcats have to win in the passing game because that's the Warhawks' number one option. Now let's move over to UL Monroe in this matchup. And if I'm the Warhawks, I'm leaning on the talented legs of running back Montero Washington early on in the ball game. Set the tone with the running game, then you know you can set up the play action pass. And all season long, I've been impressed with their offensive line. They've done a great job of keeping Colton Browning well protected in the pocket, especially left tackle Joseph Treadwell. Done a phenomenal job all season long. Now let's move over to the defense. And it's all about conditioning and preparation when facing an offense like the Bobcats. You have to be alert and have to be ready to handle the up-tempo style, which puts a lot of strain on substitutions and also puts a lot of strain on his fatigue. So look for linebacker R.J. Young to be given multiple calls to utilize in any play, any situation to keep these guys in better position to make plays. And safety Isaiah Newsom will also be moved around the defense to provide better playmaking opportunities for that defense. This is one of the more talented safeties and secondaries in the country, so you got to get your best playmaker in position to make plays. I like what I've seen so far from guard Eric Herman. I think this guy is a solid pro prospect, 6'4", 320 pounds, can play left or right guard. I know that doesn't matter in some schemes, but this guy does have versatility and is also very athletic. You have to be able to be athletic if you're going to play offensive line for the Bobcats. And I'm a big fan of R.J. Young, the inside linebacker in that 3-3-5 defense. He's 5'11", 240 pounds, and I think he has the quickness to easily transition to a 4-3 as the middle backer and also can play in a 3-4. So the guy has scheme versatility and is the leading tackler for the Warhawks. Keep an eye on him as he moves through the scouting process this offseason. It's Don Peden is definitely a campus legend for the Ohio Bobcats. This guy was the head coach there from 1924 to 1946. Won over 70% of his ball games and over 120 victories. And the cool part about Peden is the fact that he also coached the baseball team at that time and racked up over 250 wins. And Humphreys is a campus legend for the UL Monroe Warhawks at the time, Northeast Louisiana, led these guys to a 1987 national championship game. In only two years of play, he amassed over 4,500 yards, 29 touchdowns, and still has the record for eight 300-yard games in a season. I like the Warhawks in this ball game. When you look at both teams, you see a lot of similarities, especially at the quarterback position. Colton Browning is an outstanding quarterback, dual threat type of guy, as well as Tyler Tettleton. So it is really going to come down to the defense. Which defense can step up to the plate and make plays? And you can trust the Warhawks defense. This is a defense that does a great job, one on third downs, and also doing a great job in stopping the run. If they can back up the Bobcats offense, I think that goes a long way in them winning this game. I think they will do so. And you don't want to give Colton Browning added possessions with the football because this offense can also put up points.